Okay, real quick, I wanted to show you guys a way that I sort of cheat at uh, ZBrush when I'm uh, exporting an alpha channel uh, so that I can do some post work in Photoshop. As far as I could tell through ZBrush itself, there's not a way to export the perfect alpha channel so that it would be working right uh, immediately into Photoshop. You kind of got to play a little bit in Photoshop to get it to work the way that you want it. Uh, so I thought maybe it'd be a useful tip for somebody else who was trying to, uh, to do that. So I just have this stupid object here, this regular default brush that ZBrush gives you uh, right off the bat, just so I can show you how this works. Uh, it's pretty simple. First thing you're going to do is go up to the alpha menu at the top left of ZBrush. That's where its default layout is. Um, and you're going to click alpha, and you're going to go down to the bottom of this window here, and you're going to click on grab doc, grab alpha from document. And that basically turns this uh, model here into an alpha that you could use to edit with your brush tool. But you can also use this in, in Photoshop to make a selection. So uh, before you basically leave ZBrush, you need to go back into the alpha channel. I mean, I'm sorry, into the alpha menu. And you're going to click on export. This is where you're going to export this alpha. And you can just leave the default file, doesn't matter, the name, it exports it as a PSD for you. Uh, so, okay, we've got that done, it's exported. And now we're going to export our document. If this was the image that we wanted to, you know, if we were finalized with this and this is what we wanted to select, this is what you're going to export. So you're going to go to document, export. You can, again, leave the default settings, it makes it a PSD for you. Save. And that's, that's basically it. You're done with uh, ZBrush at this point. So you can minimize it. And we we'll bring up Photoshop here. And we're going to go to File. And we're going to open up the first, the alpha that we exported, which is ZGrab01. Okay, now you can see it's a gradient here. So this would never make a good selection at this point. Uh, so simple fix to this is just go up to Image, Adjustments, Levels. And you're going to take this slider here, these two slider bars, you're just going to pull them all the way to the left. And you can see it's basically turning that, that shape into all white, uh, white and black, which is going to make the perfect uh, selection, or nearly perfect selection. So you click OK. And we're going to double click the background layer so that we make this an active, editable layer. OK, that's done. And at this point, you're going to click on the Channels tab. And this is basically your alpha channel here. It says gray, but... Um, you're going to option click this this channel. Uh, I don't know, on a that's what it is on a Mac. On a PC, I'm, I imagine it's control, but option click, and you can see it makes the selection around our object here. So we're going to go to edit, and we're going to copy this. If I can do it with my pen here, copy. Okay, and we're going to open up the actual document, the exported document that we uh, really want to select. So we're going to go to open. And ZBrush document is the default name, and here it is. And at this point, we're going to unlock our background layer again, so it's an option, an editable layer. And we're going to see if this works. First, you're going to go up to Edit and Paste. Now, if this per goes perfect, it'll paste it directly in place. Sometimes it doesn't, which it did. Sometimes you'll notice that when in Photoshop from something you've copied an alpha channel it might actually shift it a little bit to the left or right or up or down and you're gonna have to nudge it into place but I ninety five percent of the time this this works uh, and sometimes you will have to do a little bit of moving around but in this case it did work perfect uh, the alpha channel is pasted exactly over our original object uh, so at this point you just need to reorder this put your alpha behind it and you're gonna have your layer that you want to copy or your layer that you want you know to edit highlighted and you're gonna option click on the alpha layer okay and it makes the perfect selection around your object and um, again make sure you have your object that you want to edit here uh, selected you're gonna hit edit copy and you can just start a new document now at this point uh, whatever size again doesn't matter and you're gonna go to edit paste and here it is, a perfect selection of the model that you were working so hard on in ZBrush that you wanted to screw around with in Photoshop. Uh, if you put this up against a black background, it should almost have a perfect selection. You shouldn't see any markings. Oop, wrong layer. Okay, and there it is. There's no white. Uh, it basically looks like it was put on a black background. But if you want to, again, clean that up, 
you click on your objects layer and you go to layer matting defringe and that'll you know take um okay that'll take care of the little jaggies around here if there is any uh, but that's kind of the way I go about using an alpha through from ZBrush, uh, so, so I can make a selection and do some editing. If anybody else has any other way to do it, please tell me, because this is about the only way that I've found that uh, that works. So hope that helped you guys.